Hey guys, Claw Wolf here, and I'm back today with a suggestion for a video, and it is how to add your own default, your own custom resource sounds and music into Minecraft itself. And before I made a video where uh, using the default resource pack 1.9, if you might have seen it, and uh, it and it shows how to change the Minecraft sound, so a creeper blows up and makes a sound differently. But this time I'm going to be showing how to add sounds, which you execute with play sound and command blocks and stuff like that. So then you go to audio.online-converter.com slash convert-to-ogg, which this will be in the description as well. And you're going to go down to where it says upload your audio file that you want to convert to OGG. You're going to click choose file. You're going to go to your desktop or wherever you have it stored. You're going to select on the MP3, open it. Then you click down here where it says convert. And it won't. It may take some time depending on how long it is, how big the file is. Uh, I'm going to tell you right here, you're not uh, something longer than like four minutes just won't work. Minecraft will probably cut it out. And the longer it is, the longer it'll take it to load, take you to load in Minecraft itself. Anyway, so you have your OGG file. You can move this to the desktop. You can delete the old file right here. Close that. Close that page. Now you're going to go to the next link in the description, which is my custom resources download. And you click right here where it says download, 5.23 megs. And once that finishes, you're going to put it to your desktop. And you can close everything. Now you just deal with your desktop. So you open custom resources. And you can see it's very small. It has your assets, just like a normal resource pack. But when you get inside the resource pack, it's pretty blank. It just has sounds and sounds.json. And inside the sounds, there's music. And then there's these random music files, which I uh, I just deleted right there. Um, and if you open those sound files, you can... Uh, uh, the actual one won't have these. Uh, it's, just, it's just something that I used. Anyway, so uh, once you delete those files... Your, um, I, well, once you go open the resource pack folder, you're going to look at your .ogg right here, and you're going to click rename because it may be a weird name, and you name it whatever you want, explode.ogg. There you go. Then you're going to open Minecraft Sounds Music, and you put it in your music. And I only included a music link, but you can do things like uh, different sound files. You can do... Uh, make it a different kind, like an entity sound file. You just have to add the folder. Uh, I'm not really putting that because I recommend that you do a music type. That way, the uh, that way it can be as long as you want. Because like entity sounds have a specific length that they can be, and they can't be any longer. But music can be as long or as short as you want. So once you have that, you're going to open the sounds.json file, and you can see there's some code here. You don't really need to worry about that. All you have to do is look at what you named it, explode.ogg. So you make change this from music.test to music.explode. Then you go down to the sounds area and change it from music slash test to music slash explode. And this one you can leave blank, or if you're not going to have, if you're going to, uh, this one you can leave, you can actually delete it if you're only doing one sound. Uh, but if you want to make more sounds, then copy this right here, copy it. Uh, if you're going to make more sounds, then you can just, uh, you can delete this if you want or whatever. Make sure you don't have the comma in there either. Uh, so then you can paste it, and here we have another. And for each one, you're going to make it look, it'll look the same. You just make, put the name of the file here, and the name of the file here. And you make the last one not have a comma. So I'm going to delete all that, because we don't need it, and it's kind of left over, and you're going to save the notepad file. You're going to click yes, update the archive, and you can close it. Then you're going to go to Windows, type percent, app data percent, go to your dot Minecraft, go to your resource packs, and this is where you drag your custom resources into here. You're going to open it, you can see it's all good there. I copied and pasted it, so then you're going to open Minecraft, and this will work, Your the custom resource pack, it will say that it doesn't work for Minecraft 1.9, and it may not work, but it actually does end up working. Uh, we'll just see that right now. Also, this, uh, so we'll just test it right now. Anyway, so you open up a world, hit escape, options, resource packs, you're going to go down to where it says your, the name, custom resource custom resources it says incompatible but you hit yes anyway and then you're going to type slash play sound 
music dot and then the name of your file explode at a and if you did it right it should work I think perhaps I might have done a typo somewhere ah here here's the typo so be careful when you're typing because I typed it upload it's explode there we go close so you're going you're gonna need to remove the resource pack fix this all up close your minecraft whatever open this yeah so make sure that you name things correctly and don't make stupid mistakes like forgetting the X right there cannot rename it by other process file ah and if you do make a typo you're gonna need to close minecraft reopen it because since my if minecraft's open you can't really you can't remove or edit resource packs while minecraft's open but i just fixed it and then you reopen your minecraft and you should and once it loads it will most definitely work um Okay, loading. Okay, so you top into your world. Now you can put on your resource pack. Music dot explode at a. Oh, I didn't attach it. Put on my resource pack. Yes, done. There we go. And notice how it kind of froze for a second there. That that means that it worked. So you can hear that it is doing the explosions. The video itself doesn't have the explosions happening very rapidly, so it's not a very good example. But you can put music, whatever you want. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so obviously it works, and there's no way to stop music, so make sure that you time it right. Um, just And that's all I have, but thanks, just as a little side note, if you want to make your resources and your music go specific to your world, you can go into your saves, and you can go into your world. Um, you can go into your world like uh, spells, and you just put your custom resources here, and rename it resources, and it will work in the world. Anyway, I'm going to pull that back out. Anyway, so that's all I had today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and I'll catch you all later.